Robot algae wipes out cancer cells. Scientists at the Chinese University of Hong Kong have taken an algae more commonly used as a diet supplement and turned it into a cancer assassin. Researchers coated spirulina microalgae in iron nanoparticles before inserting it inside a rat's stomach. The iron coating combined with spirulina's natural shape allowed scientists to control it with magnets. Researchers also put the microalgae inside a lab dish where it eliminated 90% of cancerous cells after two days. Spirulina is reported to be toxic only to cancer cells. The biodegradability of the robot depends on how thick the iron nanoparticle coating is. The thicker it is, the longer the robot can operate inside a subject. Lead researcher Dr. So Li Zhang told the publication Science it's not ready for doctors to use, but reckons it might be in about 10 years. The War on Cancer Another Benefit of Selfies Researchers at the University of Washington have developed a smartphone app that is able to detect the early signs of pancreatic cancer by analyzing user selfies. Bilirubin is a bile pigment produced when the liver breaks down old red blood cells. One of the symptoms of pancreatic cancer is jaundice, caused by an accumulation of bilirubin in the body. The Billy Screen app is used in conjunction with a 3D printed box that controls light exposure in the eye. The app can also be paired with paper glasses that helps calibrate color. After the user has taken a selfie, the app's computer vision algorithms and machine learning tools can spot even the slightest increase in bilirubin levels in the sclera of the eye. The app is designed to help people get early treatment if needed. However, the results are not as definitive as a blood test. Good news for coffee drinkers. A new study shows that coffee drinkers are likely to live longer than non-coffee drinkers. Data was sampled from more than half a million people across 10 European countries. According to the study, coffee drinkers are likely to be smokers, drinkers, and meat eaters. However, it also shows coffee drinkers have significantly lower mortality rates than non-coffee drinkers and lower risk of death from all causes. The study revealed that coffee drinkers appear to have healthier lives and better glucose control, which may improve their overall health. Researchers say they will try to determine the particular compound in coffee that offers such health benefits. In the meantime, they suggest drinking around three cups of coffee a day for good health. Fighting cancer with light? Mobilizing a patient's immune system to eradicate cancer is often hit or miss, but a group of researchers have discovered that light and optics might help. Killer T cells act as the body's defense mechanism, but they're often evaded by cancer cells and kept out of areas surrounding aggressive tumors. To help them track down their target, scientists combine the T cells with a light-sensitive algae molecule. When injected into mice and activated with light, the T cells were better able to kill the cancer cells. In a separate project, mice with melanoma on their ears were implanted with LED chips and made to wear a small battery pack. The battery signaled the LED to shine light on the tumor, calling killer T cells to the area and boosting their cancer-killing function. The non-toxic treatment is promising, but researchers are still determining how effective it is on tumors deep in the body. Metastatic cancer could be stopped. A research team led by the Georgia Institute of Technology has developed a new treatment that can potentially stop cancer cells from migrating inside the human body. Cells contain cytoskeletons to give them their shape and to carry out functions such as division and movement. In order to move, the cytoskeletons produce protrusions called phyllopodia, which extends from fibers inside the cell known as lamellopodia. The protrusions help cells to shift locations. Lamellopodia and phyllopodia are overproduced in malignant cancer cells, enabling them to spread around the body at faster speeds. Cancer kills patients often through the spread of malignant cells, which is known as the metastasis process. By attaching nanorods comprised of a small collection of gold atoms to the integrin of the cells, the cytoskeleton can be stopped from overproducing lamellopodia and phyllopodia, which slows down the migration of malignant cells. A low-energy laser of near-infrared light is then used on the cells. The light is absorbed by the gold nanorods, which then partially melts cancer cells and damages lamellopodia and phyllopodia. This can bring the migration of the cancer cells to a stop. 
If desired, the laser light can also be adjusted to kill the cancer cells. The experimental treatment shows no observable damage to healthy cells, which is an advantage over commonly used chemotherapy. In the experiments, scientists also did not see the treated cancer recur.